Las Vegas, where a life can be changed in an instant, where fortune can smile quickly on a lucky winner. This week, however, in the high-stakes world of men's championship nine ball, there will be no instant winner. This victory will be hard-fought and truly well-deserved. A battle of wills between Santos Sambajon Jr. of the Philippines, diminutive in stature but enormous in spirit, and Tony Robles of New York, one of the game's nicest guys off the table, a ferocious competitor while playing. One of them will earn their first major title. One of them will feel what it's like to have a dream come true. It's the final of the Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship. From the Riviera Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the finals of the Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship. Hello, everybody. Welcome inside the Riviera Hotel, high atop the arena in here. Mitch Lawrence, as always, thrilled to be with you. There is nothing like the excitement of a major championship event, and this event is definitely major. You can cut it with a knife in here. People waiting for both players to get out. Tony Robles, Santos Sambajon Jr., both of them are going to play some great nine ball, I assure you. One of them is going to be incredibly excited at the end of it because one of these players will walk off with a major title for the first time in their career. Joined by pro player Mark Wilson. Hi, Mark. Good to see you. And you can feel it in here. These two players about to do some battle, and you know a lot about both of them. Well, Mitch, we have two gladiators seeking their first major title. And i got to tell you, these guys have been playing great pool all week. They've earned this opportunity. We have Tony Robles, the best player in New York, and New York City possesses so many world-class players, that's really saying something. He's known on the Pro Tour as a silent assassin for his lethal accuracy. His opponent, Santos Sambajon. This guy, he's got a, no major weaknesses. He's been a force on the tour for many years, and he's got heart. Heart is what he's all about. And if it comes down to mental toughness, this guy will win the match. And so, one of the strongest fields of the year has come down to this. Here's our road to the finals. Alex Pagalayan got by Francisco Bustamante and then ran into Santos Sambajon Jr. Won that match 7-5, and here we are in the finals. Tony Robles waiting undefeated after a terrific, terrific week for him. And he's one match away from completing an undefeated run. Very, very difficult to do here in Las Vegas. A look at the BCA Nine Ball Championship Trophy. And that is the one you really want. A lot of money at stake also, but that's the one that you'll have for the rest of your life. There's a good life. Good look at Tony Robles from New York. And as I said earlier, one of the nicest guys you will ever meet. Once he gets to the table, there is a tremendous amount of desire. And there's Santos Sambajon Jr. from the Philippines, now living in Connecticut. Two players eager for a major title. Very, very different backgrounds. And Mark, you're going to see some powerful breaking here, especially from someone as small as Santos. Winning the leg is crucial because that gives you an extra break in a close match if it comes down to a hill hill game. See that cue ball get kicked around the table? He hit him good and square, but was not the recipient of pocketing a ball on the break. Nothing. Now the, the winner of the first rack wins well over 55% of the matches, so this first rack is crucial. And it so sets the tone for what the match might be about in terms of a player's confidence. We talk a lot about the speed of the cloth, Mark, and getting used to the table. How's this laying out for Tony? We have a tough layout here. There's a lot of clutter down there in that corner. He's, he's played a very good safety. I expect that we're going to see a lot of jockeying here in the early goings of the match. I don't think we're going to see wide open offense. The pressure and the nerves, there'll be some uh, jabs and parries. As we look at all those balls tied up, let me quickly give you the rules of the game. It's a race to seven for the title with a 30-second shot clock on each player. One extension per rack, and it will be cue ball fouls only. Santos tries to come back with a safety, and Tony Robles will have a shot on the one mark. The first offensive opportunity, he played the shot properly with a good speed that could have allowed him to get safe. However, he wasn't the recipient of any fortune. Tony's confronted with still the tough layout. If he could get to the three and then negotiate the five, he'd be well on his way to winning this rack and securing the first rack of this important match. Oh. 
Shot on the one. Just rolled to the hit for position on the two. Secured the one ball. The first shot, the first offensive shot you have is very important to establish yourself at the table. Looks like he's going to try to carry the cue ball all the way down table for position on the three. Even should the cue ball go too far, he would have a bank or at least a safety play. Instead, he's played perfect position. Good speed control there, and as he walks around this table, let's mention the table and some other great official sponsors. Beautiful Biltmore table by Connolly. Super Aramith Pro Balls by Imperial International. Championship Tour Edition Cloth. The Sardo Tight Rack will be used, as will Masters Chalk. We thank them for their support. If it weren't for those people, you would not be seeing the greatest players in the world. Mitch, you mentioned speed control, and speed control is not a function of judgment. It's a function of a repeating stroke, and so many people never get to hone their judgment in because their stroke is slightly erratic. The four to the five was the, tr the tricky predicament here. He's sizing it up right now. It looks from the angle that he would have to go to the cushion and back out for position on the five. Well, he's queuing low. He may be coming around the table three cushions. Now here is key part of this rack, Mike, uh, Mark. And as Tony moves around the table, very, very interesting life in pool does Tony have. Gives lessons, nothing but lessons, Monday to Thursday every week. Spends every weekend with his seven-year-old son, Jonathan. Told me he does not practice a whole lot at all anymore. And I said, you mean you just drop in and play the best nine ball players in the world? He said, well, yeah. <laughs> well, Tony is a tour veteran, and he puts a lot of hours into his game yep. at a younger age. So it doesn't take much to keep him in tune. Well, he also said an interesting thing, which was it keeps him hungry. He loves coming to the events, and it gives him a chance to concentrate on his fundamentals, giving all those lessons. Speaking of fundamentals, how's this? Santos with a jump shot. Full elevation. And the follow through is critical. Great follow through, great contact. Now it's just where does everything wind up? And Tony Robles will have a shot on the five for sure. A big favorite to secure the first rack. He loves coming to the table like this. Looks like top spin just down the table and then back down to the middle of the table. The middle of the table is the key position zone. Whenever you're in doubt about where to go, head for the middle of the table. Way to come speed. off that rail. And Mark, I'm liking how Tony seems to be at the table right now in a big, big match, which this is for both players. A lot of times you'll see some real nerves out there early, and but he seems very, very calm. He's exhibiting confident strokes as well. Not ambiguous at all. I mean, he's, he's in here and firing away. Nice play there. It's so important to be committed to your shot. Nerves usually brings about some ambiguity. I mentioned earlier that he moved undefeated this week, and here are some of the players that Tony Robles took care of. Great ones. Dennis Coulter, Danny Hewitt, Johnny Archer, 11-10, George Breedlove, another great tournament for him, Rodney Morris, and then Santos in the winner's bracket final. Put Tony on the hot seat. This nine ball for rack number one, and there it is. And he's got to be feeling very good about what's happened early. He's got a one-rack lead and the break here in Las Vegas. The Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship is brought to you by the Billiard Congress of America. Pool, everybody's game. By Connolly, the ultimate in billiards. And by McDermott Q Manufacturing, guaranteed for life. Let's take a look at some of our other top finishers brought to you by Championship Tour Edition Billiard Fabric. A terrific fourth place finish for Francisco Bustamante with sixth, seventh, and eighth. Great week for all five players. Inside the Riviera Hotel and Casino, it's the finals of the Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship. You will not find a better venue for an event of this stature. 9,000 amateur pool players at the 28th annual BCA National Eight Ball 
championship right next door and they have been here in droves all week getting a chance to see the best players and they're loving it as are we hope you're enjoying it at home mitch lawrence and mark wilson bringing you the action tony robles the silent assassin at the table trying to increase his one rack lead early trying to make the four ball in the corner pocket that's the wing ball from the same side of the table these breaking from. four ball shot right in mitch really good action let's see if he gets lucky and he does look at that Two balls on the break and an ideal circumstance to run out of the rack here. The two and the three are laying on the end rail close together. The five is near the side pocket, the six on the end of the table. This is something that's uh, very routine for a player of this stature. He Control just your has nerves. has to be liking it, yep. 38 years old, Queens, New York. One of the best known players in that area. And as Mark alluded to in the opening of the show, there are a ton of good pool players in New York, as you know. And to be considered one of the best is, is an honor in itself. Tony only needs to negotiate his nerves. The balls are laying very willing to be run. Plays to the end rail and back up, preserving ideal position, even if he rolls a little bit long. Top spin, heading back to the middle of the table. The safest position. And this is, he's playing at a pretty good clip here, Mark, in terms of his pace. So, he seems to be very, very comfortable at the table. What I like is, see if you agree with me, he's not moving too quickly. He's still taking his time on every shot to really check out what's going on. Doesn't seem to be rushing too much. A very nice rhythm. And for the viewers at home that want to improve their game, notice how as smooth and accurate his backswing is. The amateur views the backswing as merely a formality to get through to see some results where the pros are very careful with their backswing and very straight on the way back. Got to be loving it. That was a confident stroke. That was a stun with just a little bit of topspin to just trickle the cue ball ahead with force. A big, big crowd favorite is Tony Robles here in Las Vegas. Santos Sambajon already early in this match. Has his work cut out for him. Down by two racks, but he has the break. The Billy Congress of America would like to thank two of its official sponsors. There you're looking at a beautiful McDermott queue. It rests atop the fantastic Brunswick Players chair. The Billiard Industry honors its most outstanding players and contributors with induction into the prestigious Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame. And this year, that great honor went to pro player Ava Mattia Lawrence and custom cue maker George Balabushka. The rich history of billiards is preserved and shared with the world through the Billiard Congress of America Hall of Fame. A look at some of the interested spectators here. Riviera Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Santos Sambajon Jr., originally from the Quezon province in the Philippines, now living in Naugatuck, Connecticut. And as I said, he's got his work cut out. I love watching this break, Mark. Beautiful timing. Cue ball stops dead in its tracks. Look at that. Is he rewarded? Well, the reward is uh, minimized. Yep. Tough shot on the one. Perhaps he has a carom shot on the seven ball. Here to the corner pocket, but it's not easy. So he looks at the shot we talked about. Tony Robles' path during the week. Santos beat some unbelievably great players, too. Alex Pagalayan twice. The great Rudolfo Luat along the way. And he is just not having a chance at the table too much here. Well, that was a planned shot. He chose a speed that was conducive to picking up a safety. I don't know that it was easy to pocket the ball. Oh, no, I didn't even mean pocketing the ball. I'm just saying it's got to be frustrating yeah. for him. Tony's getting some table time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Santos has his, well, i got to kind of try to play a shot here, and maybe a safety. That's where mental toughness comes in. You can't win this match in one turn at the table. You have to, to stay back and play the percentages. Okay, I'm gonna go this good way. point. Tony explaining to tournament director Steve Tipton what he's going to do. Ten. Extension. See Perfect. if he takes his extension, I was going to say. For the viewers at home that want to look at this shot, when you're thinking about whether it'll be a good hit or a bad hit, the physics will tell you. If you think about how the balls will respond 
if he hits the one ball first and then caroms off the seven, or if he hits the seven ball first and then caroms off the one. In that case, striking the seven first, the cue ball will trail to the left. If he hits the one ball first, the cue ball will trail to the right. That was a, a really nice kick shot. He played that shot for all it was worth. Came at it from the proper direction, gave it every chance to go into the pocket. That's how difficult pole is. You can play a great shot and still not be rewarded. But he pretty much did what he had to do after a really good play by Santos. You were talking about the, the determination and kind of the patience that you need to win a tough match. To me, that's a sign of it, what Santos did early. He's now a very experienced, tournament-tested player that has, displays true grit. Now it opens up a little bit, and he will definitely want to stay at that table. Very distinctive style that you see. He's a fearless competitor. He's not afraid to lose. He gets in here and attacks these balls. I really, really enjoy watching him play. Both of these guys are... Terrific competitors, both with their individual styles. Fun to be around. Love the game. And Santos really lights up. When he talks about pool, his face just lights up. Both these players are somewhat introverted in life, but on the table, they are courageous. Nice draw stroke. Good speed. <laughs> This is exactly what he wanted. Chance to stay here for a while. Enjoy himself. He worked hard to get here, Mark. <laughs> whoa, get a little heavy. whoa and whoa. Hit the ball a little bit heavy. And it seems to be like he's coming out of his stroke a little quickly on some of these shots. Even the balls he was pocketing, he seemed to be jumping around a little bit. Trying to establish himself in the match by scoring a game. Well, I was saying that he was moving nicely through this rack. Didn't seem to have any trouble. And boom, as soon as the words come out of your mouth, seven jars, and here's Tony Robles again. Big, 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 big. Now that was not an easy position play. The hardest balls to play position from are balls hanging into the pocket. And look at the speed control. You know, some people are made for some events. Tony finished second here at the BCA Open Nine Ball Championship two years ago, losing to Charlie Williams in the final. He said to me he loves this event. He feels like he plays his best nine ball here. He loves the atmosphere, and he loves the chance to get this title. Thought he could have played better last time, wanted another shot, and he's getting it. Santos Sambajon Jr. will only sit. Tony Robles with a three-rack lead and the break in rack four. Billiards is one of the world's oldest sports, dating back to the 15th century. Like all great sports, there's always something new and exciting to be found. Each year, suppliers from around the world meet with industry retailers and room operators at the International Billiard and Home Recreation Expo hosted by the Billiard Congress of America. This year, you could really see how the billiard industry has combined sporting equipment and home furnishings that reflect your personality and lifestyle. Who have come up from the basement and have found a prominent place in today's home. There's truly no other sport quite like it. And this is where Santos Sambajon Jr. is really going to have to collect himself after a key miss in rack number three. And here it is, Mark. Notice how the cue goes up and down. It bobbles around there and it didn't allow for an accurate hit on the seven ball. And that's a testimonial to nerves. Well, it looked like his bridge hand also opened up quickly after the shot. The cue kind of released. Everything about it just said, not a solid stroke. And Tony Robles says, thank you very much. There you see the score, 3 nothing. Well, Tony's happy to capitalize on an unforced error. <laughs> <laughs> I would think. You don't expect to get too many free games in this match. No, 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 no. He told me when we were talking about early, one of the things about giving lessons and not really playing a lot is that early in a tournament, he feels a little unsteady. So it takes a match for him to get underway. He said beating Dennis Coulter in his first match when he didn't play that well was huge. I asked him when he knew he was really here to play. He said, when I beat Johnny Archer 11-10, I knew I was in dead stroke. And you could see it when he told me about it, that he truly believes that this is his time. So let's see if Tony Robles can do what he sets out to do here. 
Three ball is the wing ball. Not quite as square a contact as nope. he made on the other breaks. And you can hear it, and there's the result of it. Nothing on the break. Now Santos is going to have to dig deep here and really come up with something. He needs to chisel through this rack. Right away he's confronted with a circumstance that he's going to have to let the cue ball go into the two ball. He was able to negotiate by it. He did so by overcutting the pocket a little bit. He made the ball into the same pocket, but he chose the thin side of the pocket, and that was allowed him to not have to carry him into that two ball. Now, this is a difficult back cut to what we call a blind pocket, Mitch. You're looking away. If you're a little bit nervous, this is one of the toughest shots in pool. <laughs> Boy, you could see it right there. Queuing up with right English or left English, and that makes the shot more complicated. There's some experience there. Is it going to clear to get to the three? The, the double kiss was terribly uh, unfortunate. Anything else allows him to have some type of a shot on the three. I'm not sure that he can play a, a shot directly at the three. He may be forced he, to kick. Oh. By kicking, we yeah, go like to the cushion. Yep, there it is. Queuing up with low. Going to try to go rail first to make the ball. And that's the, that's the peril that you face. If you try to go for the ball with such a thin hit, you very easily commit a foul. He ran a risk and reward analysis, Boy. and it was worth the effort because if he makes that shot, he's out and back into the match. Got to be frustrating. You play so hard against 63 of the best players in the world to get here. Oh, uh, you know, he just can't even get into the match right now. The balls are not cooperating, and then he's made a couple minor errors, and you cannot do that at this level despite your best endeavor. Wow. So again, Tony Robles at the table. Just trying to keep it all under control here as he moves closer and closer. That heart will start pounding a little bit. Just make no mistake about it. Both of these players have won. But there is nothing like the respect that comes from winning a major title. Now, Tony has a little bit of an angle on the six, and he's deciding if he wants to try to roll ahead or draw back. And the table is lightning quick with the draw stroke. You have to be careful it doesn't get away from you and give you a poor angle. He's going to have a poor angle. I do not believe he intended to play the seven ball in this pocket. This game has now evolved into just a shot-making exhibition. That was beautiful there. Just a little bit below center. It was an extreme draw to negotiate two cushions out for ideal angle on the eight ball. Looked really under control. And this is a, a mark to me of where he is right now, is that even if things aren't perfect, even if they're not going exactly his way, he's just saying, this is what I have to do. And Santos can only sit there and, and as I said before, has to be frustrating for him. You just want to get up and play your best pool. And then what happens, happens. Tony Robles right now is taking advantage of every opportunity that Santos Sambajon Jr. is giving him. He leads by four racks. Santos has the break, and he better start making something happen here in Las Vegas. Our tip of the day features Billiard Congress of America Hall of Famer Ava Mattia Lawrence. She's going to give you some help with the draw shot. One of the most difficult position shots of the basic position shots has to be the draw shot. To be able to really make a good draw shot, it really helps to understand what happens to the cue ball. When you hit really low on the cue ball, it starts out spinning in this direction. After contact, it wants to continue to spin in that direction, and it comes back toward you. Main thing is, hit very, very low on the cue ball. Speed is not as important as the fact that you hit very low all pretty much at the bottom of six o'clock. The cue stick needs to be level because if you hit it up like this, you're gonna miss cue. So level cue, smooth stroke, and aim right for six o'clock. You watch that cue ball come back and it's very gratifying when you pull it off. Inside the Riviera Hotel and Casino, Mitch Lawrence and Mark Wilson, hundreds and hundreds of pool playing fans here to witness the finals of the Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship. Between this man, Tony Robles of New York, Santos Sambajon Jr. of the Philippines, Tony up 4-1 now in a race to seven and with the break. 
Santos has to just be feeling like, let me get another chance. Let me get there. Let me get another chance. And Tony trying to put it out of reach. See what he can do here with the break. He made nothing on the break in rack four last time he was there. Very straight cueing on this break shot. He'll hit him square, and the cue ball will probably not have much spin. Look at that. It stopped in the middle until it got kissed. And then <laughs> a little unfortunate getting kicked around, but then look at that fortune there, Mark. He was the rewarded. The cue ball there. He played the shot for all it was worth, hit him good and square, and now he's picked up a good shot on the one ball and another chance to go out, exerting uh, or extending his lead. There's really not much of a predicament here. If he picks up position on the two ball, once again, he has a very manageable layout. Ooh, flirting with that pocket. But oh, you know what? Oh, that oh, was struck oh, confidently. Oh, 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 it was. I, I, I like that fact. I mean, you know you're going to flirt with it. You still got to go ahead and hit it. It just the cue ball just kept rolling. You're wondering if it was going to keep going. Pulls up a little short of the two. Right now is the tricky part of the rack. If he can gain position on the three ball into the side pocket, the four lays good. And I think Tony's work, Mark, is just going to really have to be to take his time and be really precise about what he's doing because you get up 4-1 in a race to 7, you can't let down. Especially against somebody with Santos' background, his ability to keep playing and not be out of a match. Well, at this level, Mitch, a 4-1 lead is not a big lead. These guys can come back in just one or two innings. They can collect a bunch of games. With weaker players, that is a big lead. Tony uh, is showing some good signs of experience here. He's, he's a workman like here. He's really taking his time and playing ideal angles. It makes life so much easier when you can pick up the proper angle. Boy, it so sure does. You know, we, we talk about it often that if you're at home watching and the shots look like you could make them, even if you're not that great a player, then the player at the table is doing their job, leaving themselves the easiest possible shot based on position. I know when I start playing, it looks like I want it straight in because you think you can make it. But in truth, those of you just learning the game, the angles are what it's all about. And this is an angle that Tony Robles is loving right here. Two balls on the break. And he's not giving Santos any room right now to get back. He is two racks away from a, one of the most exciting, the most exciting moments certainly in his professional career a major championship. Santos has the break. On the rail, it's good to know you've got the best product possible. Master Billiard Chalk. I know the players are very happy here in the dry heat of Las Vegas that Master Chalk's being used. And there you're going to get a look at that Sardo tight rack, the M3000. Beautiful Super Aramith Pro Balls on the table. Inside the Riviera Hotel and Casino. Had a great year in 2003, finished second in the Fury World Summit of Pool in New York, right in Tony Robles' backyard. Both men very respectful of the other's game. Talked to Tony about Santos and Santos about Tony. They really like each other. They know they both can play. I'm just going to see who's the better man today. And for the moment, it's been Tony Robles. That six went diving in and you see it smile a smile on Santos face well once again he ramped up the power and Ooh. lost the cue ball you can see the cue ball almost left the table and then was going back and forth across corner now the key shot here is going to be this two ball that's going to be a problem area and probably all he can do is back up the cue ball combination would be just too brutally tough to try to play for this would be a cut into the side or perhaps a bank shot Seems like he picked up the right angle to cut into the side, and that certainly would be the preferred method. Look at the length of this bridge for a delicate cut. That <laughs> makes things very difficult. More opportunity for an error. And he even used Look at that. loaded that up with Look inside that. English. Boy, was that pretty. That was pretty. That was a gritty, determined stroke to put English on that thin of a cut with that long of a bridge and that minimum amount of speed.
We're seeing some fight from this guy. He's battling through well, this rack and making it look easy. You know what? It's like you said earlier, Mark. You don't. You want to make sure that the other player knows you're here. If you're going to lose the match, you want to say, okay, I was in a match. The last thing you want to do is get to a big match like this and have the other player feel like, well, I, I just had the table to myself. And he's not letting Tony feel that way in this rack. This is really the first rack in the match where Santos is kind of showing some of the, the, the fight but just based, not based on his ability to play, but just the fight. He's had a chance to shoot some balls. And you're seeing what he's made of here. He's been in this predicament before. He's not a virgin. And I'm going to tell you, he will not give up. The way Tony's playing, though, he knows he's going to have to be the recipient of some good fortune. And in this game, you can only do what you can do and hope for another chance. And Santos Sambajon Jr. does what he has to do. Break and run out in rack seven. Tony Robles with the break, trying to get on the hill in rack eight. As always, it's been a fabulous week in Las Vegas, maybe even more enjoyable thanks to the hospitality and excitement of the Riviera Hotel and Casino. A beautiful Biltmore table by Connolly the rack of nine balls. They won't be staying that way long. Tony Robles at the table. Last time Santos got a rack, Tony came right back, broke and ran out. Let's see if he can do it again. Mitch Lawrence and Mark Wilson along with all these people here at the Riviera Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Both players trying to get an elusive major championship title. Tony two racks away from doing that. Wing ball shot in once again, and uh, you could really see the continents of the both players' face during the intermission that they are both really focused on this match. A lot of intensity. How things change. <laughs> Tony just said how things change. <laughs> this is going to be a tough shot. Yep. Perhaps faced with a defensive possibility. Extension. Takes his extension. You will never find a more devoted father than Tony Robles. Truly, he talks about his son Jonathan and his eyes get misty. This is a man who's very, very grounded, Mark, in his own life and knows who he is. It's great to watch him play well. He knows what's important. It's not that this match isn't important. He knows that it's part of what makes a full life. So, Well, that's a credit to his family. He was brought up that way. Goes for the bank. Does he get there? Yes. That was a tremendous two-way shot. Look where the cue ball right, went, Mitch. Right. That was a very knowledgeable shot. He played that shot for all it's worth. And listen to the audience. They, they respectfully understand what went on there. If the one ball doesn't go in, he still has made a great shot. Wow. That's the mark of a champion. And That's you how you earn these liking. titles. I'm liking how calm he was about taking his time, calling his extension, figuring out what he wanted to do, and then committing to the shot. All the signs of somebody who's very much in control. Let's Once again, can... elevated cue. That makes this shot play a little bit more difficult. I was going to say, let's see if he can finish it, and he does not. Let's see where the cue ball stops. Well, he's struck it pretty well, and now Santos comes to the table. It looks like he might be just partially hooked by the five ball, and he'll either have to go airborne with a jump shot or perhaps a slight masse. The slight masse plays nicely because the long rail there will aid you in getting down to the corner pocket. Appears that he's slightly elevating using right-hand English. You'll see a lot of spin with the, the dots on the cue ball. Now here's a very testy shot, long shot. And the, the problem with it is you know you're facing an imminent loss if you miss this shot. <coughs> Seven ball can sometimes get in your eye, so you really got to be single-minded focus on this shot. And 
You were talking about the seven, and there it was. And look at that. Look at that. Is it going to make it to the pocket? No. Wow. Huge. And he's shaking his head because he knows he let one get away there. Big turnaround. You know, Santos can only afford to lose one more game in this match, and this very well may be that last game. Then he's going to have to go ahead and win five consecutive games in order to secure the match back for him. You can do it, but you're sure making it tough on yourself if you have to, to stay alive. <clears throat> Let's see if Tony can do what he needs to do and just work his way around the table. Right now, your opponent has shown no signs of weakness whatsoever. If, if Santos is playing the rope-a-dope tactic, he's going to have to come out of it soon. <laughs> yeah, it's getting to the later rounds. Hopefully. I'm, just, I'm just sitting here thinking what I was talking about, about Tony not practicing that much anymore. He wins this tournament, and there's a lot of people at home that are going to go, cool, I don't have to, have to practice. <laughs> but what you have to remember is this is a man who has put in years of practice to get to the point that he's at now. I think what he means by he doesn't practice anymore is he's probably down to just four hours a day. Yeah, no, him. he literally, I said, you don't practice. He said, no, I mean, literally, I don't. But giving lessons to him and being at the table is what keeps him focused and keeps him present in the game. And right now, he is one rack away from walking off with the biggest title of his life. Santos Sambahone has the break. He'll try to stem that tie. The Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship is brought to you by Championship Billiard Fabric, the brand that set the standard. By the BCA Pool League, the player's choice. And by the Billiard Education Foundation, supporting the education of young pool players. And unless Santos Sambahon Jr. can really start pulling out some magic here in Las Vegas, they're surrounded by it at all the casinos, but this is gonna have to be something special from Santos if he's gonna stay alive. There you see the score, down 6-2. Tony Robles on the hill, one rack away from the championship. Man, you can hear how powerful that break is. Well, he collected himself and made a real square hit with a center ball hit. And you didn't see the cue ball darting all over the table. And then he also used what the pros call a flat ball hit, which means the cue stick is very level coming through the cue ball, so the cue ball is not bounding around with a jump shot type effect. Once again, faced with a circumstance of a tough shot to open up the rack. That's doom. Yep. And he knew as soon as he hit it, it looked like he just stood up, could feel it. I think there just comes a time, it's like any other sport, you know when you're there and you know when you're not. He just has not had Santos shots. knows he has, it's right. Look at him. <laughs> Every shot's tough, it's like pulling teeth for him. And right now here we see Tony get out the bat bridge. Isn't that what that is? <laughs> it sure looks like it. Boy, he's got to be loving this. All he has to do is manage the balls around the table to collect this title. This is a guy who knows the game. He knows all the games well. Finished seventh at the 2000 U.S. Open Straight Pool Championship. 2002, his best year on tour. Finishing second at the BCA Open Nine Ball, losing to Charlie Williams. Miss, he did not mean to cover the four ball with a five, and now he's got some problem here. There you see it. Center of the table. Oh, he tried to use left English and the cloth watch too out, slick. Watch it out, won't out, watch out, watch out, watch out. No. Well, he's going to get punished for moving those balls around when he didn't really need to, or he could have possibly avoided it by playing the, the ball with the bridge into the other side of the pocket. Santos may have been the recipient of a reprieve here. We could see the nine ball go in or the four ball go cross corner. Played the nine. How are the ball's rolling for Tony? Look at this. Uh, pretty good. Looks like he may pretty have good. turned out with a safety. Now, even though Santos is hooked, 
Watch the way he kicks at this ball. He will hit the proper <laughs> hemisphere of this ball to enable himself to possibly turn this around and give himself the best percentage to come out of this with a safety. I believe he's looking at trying to kick two cushions and bring the four ball down table while bringing the cue ball off the back of the four back over here. He's playing it three cushions. Now this is interesting. Good hit. Very nice shot. And here comes Tony Robles again. Let's see what he could do here, Mark. Anytime the object ball is near the rail, near the side pocket, those are the toughest balls to play accuracy-wise to the pocket. They're also the toughest balls to play position on. The six ball is just the same on the other side of the table. So for sure, his work not done yet. On the hill, this will require a championship shot. Difficulty on a scale of 10 and 8. <laughs> Great shot. I'll tell that's, you what. That's the understatement of the tournament. I will Great tell shot. you what. Championship shot. And if you're Tony, that is the way you want to get through the problem of this rack. Wow. And there's the 6 on the other side that you're talking about. Whew, was that nice? Played that with just a three-quarter topspin ball so that it kind of slid across the table, just spin or roll across the table. He's hit this just a little bit firm. Well, it just keeps going. <laughs> yeah. This ball never stops. His, his nerves are ramped up, and now he's got a little bit of work in front of him here. He's taking his time. No, I, I agree. He's collecting himself right now. I'm sure he's going to use his extension. Whew, boy. Did I take my time out, Steve? Extension. What is it, 60 seconds? <laughs> he wishes it were 60 seconds. 30 seconds. Extension. A lot of focus, a lot of determination on his face. You can see he's totally into it. The intensity is there. He's not going to let this ball slip away from him. Follow through. Such a key component of accuracy. <laughs> Well, you can see his cue swerve off to the side. He was tentative about that stroke. One of the first times we've seen him in the match deliver a tentative or ambiguity, uh, amb ambiguous stroke. Santos Sambajon Jr. still alive here in Las Vegas. I bet you he was sitting in that chair thinking, oh, that's about it for me, but here it is. Two balls left. You never know what's going to happen in this game. Not only that, but ball in hand, and I bet you he may even give this to Tony Robles right now. Mitch, this is Tony's wow. second favorite shot. Wow. His favorite shot's ball <laughs> in hand on the nine. His favorite shot's coming up right after this one. <laughs> oh, man. This has been Tony Robles' day. Gotta say, temptation is to say it's because Santos Sambajon Jr. just hasn't played. But this nine ball to win the BCA Open Nine Ball Championship. And there's that towel. I was talking about it. Guys, over here, over here, over here. And that's who Tony hey, Robles Tommy, is. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> did it, baby. Charlie yeah. Williams, uh, Tony's yeah. very close friend. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, man. Thanks for the advice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, that is who Tony Robles is. The first thing he did was go over to Santos Sambajon Jr. and raise his arm and get some acknowledgement from the crowd. This is a tremendous champion. There are a lot of happy people here right now. Wow. And you it heard what Tony just years, said. But I, did it. I finally did it. It took me 25 years. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. you can't get a bigger win than this for Tony Robles right now.
Gracias, gracias. And I guarantee you one thing, Mark, his price for lessons just went up. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly Thanks, is Steve. demand. Thanks. His demand has gone way up. And now it's time for our super shot of the match, brought to you by McDermott Hughes. Here's Tony Robles at the table. You want to talk about a big-time play in a big-time situation, this will be it. Shot on the one after the break. Where's he going with it? <laughs> Nothing to it. Full table bank. And there it goes. Tony Robles goes on to defeat Santos San Bajon Jr. Tournament director Steve Tipton now introducing our runner-up to the Billiard Congress of America Open Nine Ball Championship. A fantastic week for Santos San Bajon Jr. A smile, as I said, great guy. He'll be disappointed. He'll carry this around for a while because you get this close, you want to take advantage. But a great week, nonetheless. And holds it up, says thanks. Very, very proud. You will be back. And there is one happy guy, Tony Robles. We heard him say right afterwards it hasn't hit him yet. He's very, very emotional. Trust me, it will hit him. And he will be grateful and humble. It's the kind of man he is. Steve, for a lot of happy people. Executive Director Steve Dukoff of the BCA, Fred Cohn of the okay, Billy thanks. Congress of America, the Vice President. Thanks for Trophies, Thank money, you. that trophy is going to mean the most to Tony Robles. Here you go, guys. He says, here you go, guys. Great, great week here in Las Vegas. Congratulations to both players, especially Tony Thank Robles, you so long for this. your champion. We're glad you've been with us here at the Riviera. For Mark Wilson, I'm Mitch Lawrence. So long from Las Vegas. Special thanks to the Riviera Hotel and Casino for hosting the 2004 National 8-Ball and the Professional 9-Ball event. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For all sports information, log on to ESPN.com.